No, MRI without contrast is usually the standard. With contrast is not the standard, but I do like getting it with contrast in patients with epilepsy, and a lot of doctors feel the same. And this is what with contrast you get to see the and like any disruption in blood brain barriers. So you're going to see inflammation a lot easier. You're going to see tumors a lot easier. You're going to see structural abnormalities a lot better. You'll also see like post surgical and post radiation changes if that's been the case for you. Active lesions or other active inflammation will show up. If you do blood vessel imaging with gadolinium, for instance, it's going to show you aneurysms better. So for all of those reasons, it's more likely that you'll get a cause of your epilepsy if you do your imaging study with gadolinium. There's no real long-term side effects that we know of unless you're getting this done repeatedly. Gadolinium is avoided in patients who have an allergy to gadolinium, first of all. It's also avoided if you're someone with chronic kidney disease, although if you are on dialysis, we sometimes get it and dialyze it off. The image on the left is without contrast and on the right is with contrast. As you can see on the right, things are a lot more clearer, possibly what you're dealing with, whereas on the left, it's a little bit more obscure, excuse me. So I think for all of those reasons, gadolinium is nicer to have if you can get 